How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video, and welcome back to the Glass Cannon Noob to Godly series that I've been doing here on this channel. This is episode 11, and we're gonna start right now. All right, boys, daily time. Don't care about insufficient funds. Ah, oh, warrior stuff? All warrior stuff? Are you kidding me? Barbaric warrior helmets and some dual royal axes? In case you guys missed it, in the last episode, we completely fluked King's Castle Insane. I even surprised myself with how, how amazing we destroyed that dungeon. So in this episode, we are going to focus on King's Castle Insane. If I have to backtrack at all, I will go back to Pirate Island Nightmare and grab some more stuff. But at this point, we really have no reason to go back to Pirate Island besides the aforementioned gold. Not this dungeon too! Bruh! Bruh! Vcaffy, my guy, we really gotta fix this, dude. This is annoying. Alright, first boss. <laughs> What's good, dude? Oh, ow, okay. My Achilles heel hath gotten stuck in the boss's attack rate. Okay, that was my fault. Maybe I did fluke it last time. I have no idea. Was it pure luck? Or just pure skill. We shall never know. Six minutes. I don't even know if we're going to be able to beat this dungeon now. I am dead. Yep. Okay. Should have moved forward. Why did I move backwards? Oh, yeah. Because I'm a mage. I got to keep distance between him. Okay. First boss is down after almost 10 deaths. Not an issue. Not an issue. So what we're going to do is... Ow. We group these guys up. Bonk. Hey. No deaths on that room. That's nice. But I do not think we are going to be able to beat the king. I still got him. Ooh, did I just save myself some time, actually? Ooh. I feel like if I had a minute and a half, I probably could win the dungeon. But uh, that's iffy at this point. Very, very iffy. Ooh, ow. Okay, that was a lucky hit, buddy. Okay, last two groups of enemies, and then the boss room. Okay, that's all right. This run's probably failed anyways. Okay, final boss. Unless I get incredibly lucky, which I highly doubt is going to happen, we are going to fail this run. What? Yep, nope, GG. Bruh. Okay, that went great. Totally wanted that to happen. Everything went exactly how I wanted it to happen in that dungeon. All right, but for real though, boys, I am going to try it again. However, I am not sure if we're going to be able to beat this dungeon too, too many times. But yes, we are going to try another King's Castle Insane. If we're having a little bit of trouble with it, what we can do is we can actually go do some more Pirate Island Nightmare Runs just to be able to have a little bit of extra gold and be able to get a little bit more attack power. Uh, Confusion, how did he get out there? All right, please work as you're supposed to. Please work as Papa Caffey designed you to work. Please, 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 Pog. Okay, let's go. Let's go. It works. Also, we will ignore the amount of health that I have right now. I did not get hit a single time because I am the Dodge King. All right, hopefully I'll die significantly less this time around than I did last time. Here's hoping that we actually... You know, don't die. I tend to stay on the left side because... Well, it's because you have... I think it's because you have more room to move around on the left side than you do on the right side. So I generally tend to stay on the left side. Again, why did I not move forward? Uh, I'm kind of out of it today. My bad, guys. But now that I know that I can be spot... What? I... Excuse me, sir. I very much was not in that radius. Why is there no spawn protection? Now, if we can finish the arc mage with, like... Just over five minutes left. We have a very good chance of winning this dungeon. 
That is, unless we get smacked and we die again, which is entirely possible and entirely plausible thing to happen. I literally cannot take a single bit of damage in this entire boss fight, but that's okay. Let's go. Oh, that's... I... Ah... Uh, <laughs> That was, that is, that is good placement, ladies and gentlemen. That is good book placement. Did you just try leading your shots? This guy's not letting me get close. He knows that if I get close, he is dead. Those books are deadly, I'm telling you. Knowledge really is power. If I've learned anything from this series. Bruh. Four and a half minutes. We should be okay. I can fight him with- I can fight the final boss with like two and a half minutes left and still win, I think. I should not have gotten cocky in the last episode. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Jeremy? Shut up. No one cares that you got a dirt bike. Okay. Three minutes left. Three minutes left. We're about to level up, which is nice. Sort of. I kind of wish that there wasn't the times two event going on right now because I am leveling way too quickly. Okay, I think I can still beat this dungeon as long as I do not die. Nice. One elementalist left in just over two minutes. Okay, not bad. If I can get another Thunderous Blast, I can definitely up my time to kill quite heavily, actually. Okay, we're gonna walk in, we're gonna sidestep. Don't get caught by his attacks, because if you do, you're dead. I think if we are going to win, we are barely going to win. Let's go. Oh, that's warrior armor, are you kidding me? Bruh! Let's go! Level 75, we can now move into... Ah! Uh. Uh. Oh, can I speak, please? Anyways, as I was saying, we can now move into King's Castle Nightmare! I would say back up! But you know what? You're not going to back up, so you know what? Have a bonk. Not gonna get cocky now, don't worry, but it is easy to dodge in this dungeon. Then again, Enchanted Forest is easy to dodge in, so, you know, it is what it is. Gotta hit him with a 360 bonk. <laughs> get owned, kid. Get builded on, kid. I'm a Fortnite player. <laughs> Keep the change, you filthy animal. Final boss. Oh, gosh. Let's not get trapped into a death loop, though. I'm gonna walk backwards for this one because style points. Hey! Honestly, this guy's attack pattern is now super easy. There is literally, like, no RNG to this whatsoever. <laughs> I killed him in midair. <laughs> oh, come on, me! Really? A physical spell? Bruh. Ah, yes. Exactly what I wanted. Beastly warrior helmet, blade throw. Ah, yes. Nice. Good stuff. Exactly what I wanted. Okay, let's see if we can actually make a trade. <gasps> Yo. Oh, I'll take that pulse fire. Ooh. I mean, I mean... Yo, that's not bad at all. Okay, uh, even though we don't have any mage armor, we can de we actually have a really strong weapon from King's Castle Nightmare. So we could also sell all this stuff here. We could upgrade our sunlight staff, sell our eagle staff, and we could use this. Hmm, sell our eagle staff. 3.36 million, that's not bad at all. 6k, I'm gonna upgrade that about as far as I possibly can. 7... Thousand. That's really good, actually. We make some bank tonight. All right, boys. At this point, we're gonna have to do some King's Castle Insane in order to be able to get some better loot. I tried trading to get some more mage armor and whatnot, but the fact that I got the amount of stuff that I did because of the gold and because of how many upgrades I can actually put on my weapon and possibly even future armor, that was too good to pass up. So I had to do that. So let's see what we can do in a couple more King's Castle Insane runs. And then I think we will try a Nightmare run to see if we can actually beat Nightmare. 
Okay, so I'm expecting our time to kill to be much better now, even though our time to kill was actually good. Even though our time to kill was still actually pretty decent for what we had, but now it should be even better. And yes, it might even be good to move on to Nightmare. Wow, dude. All we really need is another Thunderous Blast, and I think we could do Nightmare. Oh man, our time to kill is awesome now. Oh boy. We are melting his health. We are melting him harder than a popsicle in the summertime. Can we do a no hit run this episode? That would be a negative Batman. Bonk. Okay. Now for the Archmage. Here's where I probably will fail and die a lot if I do uh, happen to be unfortunate enough to die. You gotta remember dodge, don't attack as much. Okay, now if I cannot die on these next couple of enemies, I can totally take the king without dying. That is, if RNG actually holds up. Okay, I usually die in this room if I'm going to die in any room. It'd be nice if I could jinx myself, but I highly doubt that's going to be a thing that happens. But our time to kill is great, so who knows actually... Hey. Much more damage. Oh. Focused, salty, be focused. Let's go. Of course it's a warrior helm. What do you mean? All right, boys, I'm going to try my hand at King's Castle Insane Hardcore. We're going to see how this goes. I am almost positive I'm going to fail this because I'm kind of nub. Oh, dang. All right, boys, we're going to try doing a nightmare non-hardcore King's Castle run because Insane ain't giving me squat. Plus, I kind of think that we could do a nightmare run if we really, really wanted to. Since we have the Sunlight Staff here, this will just be super duper easy, I think. Theoretically, we should be able to beat this. I have prepared for my demise. Although if worse comes to worse, I can use dual pulse fire if our time to kill is literal dog water. And I feel like it is going to be... Eh, it's not as bad as I thought it was. If we can mitigate our deaths, we might actually be able to do this. Yo, that's not bad. The bosses are where I'm probably going to have the most issue. But even then, the attack patterns are pretty easy to learn and to dodge and ultimately not get destroyed by. Beastmaster now. Now this guy is going to be very tanky. As long as we be observant, we should be okay. No sidestepping, finessing like crazy. Activate our epic dodging skills. Hopefully this boss won't disrespect me like the Archmage did. That was just dirty what he did. Talking about my epic dodging skills and what did he do? Kill me. That's disrespectful. Oh... Ooh, let's go. Okay. I think that one death, unless we can make it past the Archmage without too, too many more deaths, we should actually be okay as long as we mitigate the amount of deaths that we have. I can get him down to a quarter health before dying. Four minutes left or something like that. We should be okay, I think. The fudge is this dodging? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> we might actually have saved time by dying there. What was that dodging, my guy? You know what? Actually, I'm not mad. That death was perfectly timed. As I said, we might have actually saved time by doing that. Saved run, question mark? Saved run? Let's go. Okay, I don't know if I can die in this next room or not. But if I can make it to the king, I think with two minutes left, we might be able to win this. Oh my goodness. A little bit of extra spell power. Every single hit is going to be an insta. Oh, I hope we can do this. Oh, I hope we can clutch this. Ooh, so it's going to be so close if we do. Nope. 
Oh, the pain. Oh, that hurts so much. If we had a slightly better time to kill, we would have been able to win that. Uh, hopefully we can find someone with a mage helm, but I think we are actually going to go ahead and stop for the night. Let's see, Megatron. Unless we get someone with a mage helm, then we'll try one more. No way. Chewy play. You're the MVP, fam. But now that we've got some better mage armor, we should be able to actually successfully do Nightmare now. Because time to kill was actually our issue. So I'm going to jump back in and try to do one more Nightmare. Obviously non-hardcore. King's Castle run to see if we can actually beat this dungeon. Okay, boys. We should be good this time. Now that we have a better mage chest plate, our time to kill should be significantly better. 200k. Yeah, we should be all right. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. We're good. We're good. We're good. Everything's fine. We'd still be fighting these guys if it wasn't. We can make it to the Beastmaster with like nine and a half minutes left. We should be okay. Okay, so it's a little bit lower than the time than what I wanted to have, but that's okay. Okay, Beastmaster. Saw, dude. That's what's up. Okay. You ain't playing around no more, I see. That is entirely fair, friend. I am raiding your house or your home. You were just hired by the king to do some defending work. That's entirely fair. You know, if you just move out of my way, there shall be no harm brought upon you, friend. What's that? You ain't moving? Okay, that's fair. And I ain't going anywhere either. Seven minutes and we are on the Archmage. We might even be able to tank a hit or so. Okay, I'm just coming out and saying this now. Trading is OP in, in Dungeon Quest. Really, trading is OP in any game. Dude, five minutes. One trade and we're already almost done with Nightmare. What the heck? We didn't necessarily get too, too much from the daily, but man, that daily was enough for us to be able to trade. No freaking way now if we die like three times this boss fight then that would be no bueno but who knows come on man come on down buddy that armor alone came in clutch what I could have done this on Nightmare Hardcore and gotten an extra item because I just did a no or I'm about to do hopefully a no Hit. Run. What the fudge? And it's a mage helm! Broskies, I'm telling y'all, this game's too easy. Arc mage crown. Spend all. If we put it on physical, that'd be bad. So we're gonna put it all in spell. 94, almost entirely upgraded. Bro. 800. Oh, that's so much better. Dude. All right, boys. I'd say that this is a good spot to end today's episode. King's Castle Nightmare has fallen. And this dungeon, I can say, is actually significantly easier than Pirate Island. I seriously thought I was going to be having a ton of trouble with this dungeon. But no, bro. Dude, this is way too easy. So now that we've done King's Castle Nightmare... We probably could do a Nightmare Hardcore run here soon. I'm actually really hoping for some Titanforged armor, so that way we can make the transition from King's Castle into Underworld significantly easier. But you're going to have to wait and see what all happens in the future, ladies and gentlemen. So if you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure to click on one of the videos that you see on screen right now. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end. Thanks for watching. And remember my salty crew, don't get salty, you.